Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking us through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Before we take a look at the answer choices, let's remind ourselves of the definition for cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when there's a discrepancy between your beliefs, thoughts, or your actions. And the reason we call it cognitive dissonance is because there's dissonance between your cognitions, right? There's a discrepancy between what you believe, what you think, and what you do, right? So that's why we call it cognitive dissonance. Let's take a look at each of these answer choices. Answer choice A, Jessica spends lots of time alone with her boyfriend instead of socializing and would rather spend time with him than other friends. Her belief is that she'd prefer to spend time with her boyfriend. Her action is that she's spending time with her boyfriend. There's no dissonance here. Answer choice A is incorrect. Answer choice B, Raven telling others that her gastroparesis means she cannot eat meat, but she eats hamburgers. Let me ask you this. Does Raven believe that she can't eat meat? We don't know. If it was true that Raven believed that she can't eat meat and she meets e eats meat anyways, yes, this is an example of cognitive dissonance. But we don't know that. Perhaps Raven is telling other people she can't eat meat, but inside she believes that she can, and she's eating meat. There's no cognitive dissonance there. So answer choice B, we don't know. It can't be proven based on the information we have here. Answer choice C, Jason knows Paul is manipulating all their mutual friends, but convinces himself that Paul wouldn't manipulate him. This is a good example of cognitive dissonance because Jason's belief is that Paul is a manipulator. But his action is to trust him and to be friends with them, right? So there's a dissonance between his belief and his action. So answer choice C is the best option here. Answer choice D, Matt believes everything Raven says because he is blinded by love. Uh, Matt believes Raven and he loves her. You know, there's no, there's no cognitive dissonance there, right? So all things considered, it looks like answer choice C is the best option here. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.